Dear students, uh, welcome and thank you for tuning in to this video with me, Dr. Al Zobi. This is the third video in which I describe the lift force as part of the biomechanics class. I will talk in this video about another force that is related to lift that is called Magnus effect or the Magnus force. It's a deviation in the trajectory of a spinning object toward the direction of the spin. Spinning uh, is creating what we call the Magnus force. I would like to explain this concept because it's very important uh, in a lot of applications. Let's assume that we have this spinning object. I'm showing the flow of the fluid from left to right. We have two different cases of spinning. First thing we wanna make sure that we understand is that our flow is going from left to right on both cases as shown on, uh, with the parallel arrows. Also, I would like to uh, highlight that we are hitting the object from this direction. So we are moving, we are forcing the object to move in that direction. If the object starts spinning this way, so keep in mind, this is the direction of the flow and the object spin is spinning this way, it looks like the object is spinning going backward against the force that it hits the object to move in the first place. This is what we call backspin. If you hit the object, right, and the object's moving now this way against, you know, the flow, and it is spinning in the direction away from what you hit it, you, this is called top spin. This is very important to understand, that's the first concept. If the fluid flow is going to that direction, and it's spinning this way, it means that the speed is going to be in the same direction on the top part of the object, which means that my velocity, if you add them together, you will have high velocity. On the other side, the spinning you know, is going to fl uh, flow this way, and the flow of the fluid is on the opposite direction. So this is going to create low velocity, right? So low velocity. According to the Pernoli's effect, if you have low velocity, that's mean you have high pressure. And if you have high velocity, that's low pressure. And if you recall as well from the previous videos, lift is going to go from high pressure to low pressure. So the Magnus force is going up, which means that the object is moving, going to be moving um, up and up uh, in its direction. On the top spin, we have the opposite scenario. So the top part uh, the velocity of spinning or the spinning is in the opposite direction of the flow of the uh, fluid, which means I have low velocity. And on the other side, they're both in the same direction, means that I have high velocity. This means that I have low pressure here and high pressure there. And the uh, Magnus force should go, or the lift should go from the high to the low. So it's going down. So the object with time is going to go down while in the previous, in the first case the object is going to move up because that's where the Magnus force is affecting it. This is a very important uh, concept of um, lift and spinning and how the Magnus force is created. Keep in mind that this is happening as a result of the difference in pressure or pressure differential uh, between this uh, uh, created by a spinning body between the top and the bottom part of that uh, object. An application of this actually uh, is used in golf. So the loft of, in a golf, of a golf club is designed uh, to produce backspin. And as we mentioned before, if you have backspin of the ball, so this is where we hit the object, right? So uh, we have the flow on the other direction, which means I will have high velocity here and low velocity there. This is going to result in low pressure because of the high velocity, the low velocity will, will create high pressure. Magnus force is going to be up. So the object will keep going, rising, rising up actually. If it uh, hit properly, the uh, ball is going to rise because of the Magnus effect. And that's very important, a very important concept uh, that is uh, relating uh, the left force or the Magnus, uh, what we call the Magnus force with the spinning uh, of an object. I hope that was um, helpful. Thank you for watching. Until the next video. Bye.